<clears throat> All right, so today we're going to use our chair, which is so highly underused, in my opinion. Um, so many people think that the chair is only for those that have limited physical capabilities or um, something of that nature. And honestly, the chair is probably the most vital tool. It teaches us so much. Um, it teaches us a lot about the stabilization, being able to assist us, let me put it that way, in our stabilization. Um, whether you're, you know, have any physical impairments or not, and that includes age. But one good thing that it does, which is applicable to what I'm going through with my plugged up ear right now, is that if you have any concerns with balance, then it really will be an, uh, um, a great tool for you to use in order to keep you safe and still accomplish those deep twists and, and the same movements that we can do when we're standing up. So the first thing I want to point out, just as a reminder to everybody, is that when you're sitting in a chair, uh, just like at an office or anything else, you can see that my legs are sort of at an angle. And as with everything that we do sitting in a chair, you want to make sure, well, everything in general, put a block under your feet. And now you can see that my thighs are nice and level. And this protects our hip joints. And um, you should be doing this if you have an office job or something that you're sitting in a chair all day anyway. Call your ergonomic person or, or shoot me an email. <laughs> all right, so legs are nice and straight. Thighs are parallel to the ground. <clears throat> feet are on the block for me. You can also, you can use anything to prop your feet up. So take a deep inhale, sit up nice and tall. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. And you might just, with your back straight, just tilt back just a little bit until you can actually feel the weight on your sits bones. <sighs> it's important to point out that sometimes we can keep our back straight and not have our shoulders in line with our hips. So take a deep inhale, lift your arms up to the sky, and exhale, back bend. Nice big stretch. Inhale, lift your arms up. Again, exhale, back bend. Lift your hands back up. Deep inhale and exhale keep your spine straight and just hinge the hip crest so uh, relax your neck ears between biceps your belly and chest may be on your thighs but your back is straight take a deep inhale keep your back and neck as it is just allow your arms to drop and reach back and grab hold of the back of your chair and now just allow your heart think uh, cat cow here so allow your heart to dip down neutralize your neck make your um cervical spine in line with the rest of your spine just keep your neck nice and if i weren't hanging on to the back of the chair i'd probably fall on my nose okay so get ready inhale and lift your arms back up straighten your back back up and exhale, hands at heart center. Let's do that again, a little bit faster. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, arms lift. Stay lifted, stay up. And now hinge forward. So the belly comes towards your thighs, ears between your biceps. Take a deep inhale. Stay as you are, just exhale and drop your arms back. Take a hold of the back of your chair and allow the weight of your body to come forward. Pull your shoulders back, keep your neck neutral. Get ready, take a deep inhale, release your arms, come back up to seated and hands at heart center. I'm gonna take another block and if you have 
an extra something to place under your feet, <clears throat> go ahead and do that. So take a seat. What I'm doing with my blocks now is I'm separating them. So the middle of the block is aligned with each chair um, foot on the front here. So it creates a little space and it allows me to open my knees up. So inhale, arms lift. We're going to do that again to start with. Exhale, back bend. Take another deep inhale. And exhale, come forward oh, with the arms lifted. Take a deep inhale, exhale, arms come back, take a hold of the chair, sink a little bit further, trust the back of the chair, feel your shoulder blades coming together. Deep inhale, arms lift. And exhale, hands at heart center. Lift up one more time with your arms and exhale, hinge forward. Now the chest is coming in between your knees. So my shoulders are in between my knees. Your mileage may vary. And if it's difficult to reach the floor this morning, then you can also put your hands on a block or a bolster. Just put your hands in forward, forward fold position. Now here we are doing cat cow. So I'm going to come up on my knuckles and inhale, scooping the chest up and the chin up. You may not be able to do this very much, but that's okay. Your muscles are still working. Exhale, push back. The back is bowing in the back. Maybe not much. That's okay. Inhale, scoop your heart and chest up. And exhale, push back. Bring your right hand a little bit closer to your blocks, maybe even in between the blocks. Keep the left right hand down, lift arm lifts. And now switch. Left hand comes down, inhale, right arm lifts. Right hand comes down, engage your core, and inhale, lift both arms back up. And exhale, hands at heart center. Good. All right, eagle arms here. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, hands at heart center. I mean, um, extend your arms in front of you. Now pull your shoulder bones into their sockets. Take your right arm, place it underneath your left arm so your arms are crossed, like so. All right, now bend at the elbows. Back of the hands may touch, or maybe the palms of your hands touch, and lift your elbows so now your triceps are parallel with the ground. Once you get in that position, pull your arm bones into your chest. Take a deep inhale, deeper exhale. Hold here for just a minute. Now the next move we're going to do in, while in this asana, while in this um, posture, is we're going to come into a twist. So those knots that you get underneath your shoulder blades, especially when you've been sitting a long time, it's perfect for that. So with eagle arms, take a deep inhale, lift from your lower ribs, twist to your left, and now fold forward so your right elbow is on your left knee and take your right shoulder in between your knees. Try to dip your right shoulder down to the ground as much as you can. Breathe. Now you can feel the right shoulder blade really opening up. Engage your core. Really tighten in your belly and inhale, lift up. And release your arms. Hand, hands on the back of your chair and just allow yourself to come forward. Nice shoulder stretch. And inhale, come back up. Arms lift. We'll do the other side. Arms in front. Pull your shoulder blades in. Cross under your left arm under your right. Come back into eagle arms this way. Make sure the shoulder bones are still in. Take a deep inhale, 
lift from the low ribs, twist towards your right, left elbow on right knee, left shoulder in between your knees. Oh yeah, dip your left shoulder down. Make sure you're not creating tension in your neck. Yeah, that uh, muscle that gets a knot in it underneath your shoulder blade is called your subscapularis. And uh, this really frees up that area. Engage your core, come back up to center, release your arms, wide arms like five point star. And then exhale, grab hold of the back of your chair and just allow yourself to come forward. Now from a neutral neck, go ahead and tuck your chin to your chest. Keep your chin tucked, but left ear to left shoulder. Come back to center, right ear to right shoulder. Come back to center, lift your chin up. Engage your core, keep your chin up, lift your arms up, neutral neck and exhale, hands at heart center. Beautiful. Let's move into some twist. So I'm scooting my blocks together so I can bring my knees about one fist width apart, maybe two. Two fists width usually takes your femur bones and aligns it with your hip. So inhale, deep exhale. Take an inhale, arms lift. Lift from your low ribs, that keeps your spine straight, and twist over to your right. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee, and your right hand is on the back of your chair. So my whole forearm is supported by the back of the chair. Stay lifted, keep the shoulders level, and look over to your right. Couple of breaths here. Stay lifted from your low ribs. Keep your spine nice and straight. This is also actually excellent for um, indigestion, acid reflux, anything like that, where you need to release some gas out of your stomach. Try it sometime. Inhale, lift your arms up, and we're going over to our left. So twist over to the left, back, um, is nice and straight. Your left forearm is on the back of your chair. Your right hand's on the outside of your left knee. Breathe. Shoulders are level. Nice and straight. See if you can twist a little bit more. Trying to keep your hips square, but twisting <clears throat> in your mid body. That's your goal. Stay lifted, raise your arms up, and exhale back into a forward fold. <clears throat> Inhale, come back up to seated, and <clears throat> take your, <clears throat> excuse me, your right ankle crossed over your left knee. We're in a figure four here. Interlace your fingers and just Lean forward. Keep your le left foot solid. <clears throat> Mine are still up on the block and my right heel is reaching out. So my right foot is active. Hopefully you're feeling this in your uh, right hip. Come back up to center. And let's do the other side. Release your right foot. Take your left ankle over your right knee. Press your heel out. <clears throat> Sit up nice and tall. And then just come forward as though you're in deep thought. For my corporate people, I often say this is a great one to do when you're in a long meeting or something. 
and sitting in your chair. This is uh, external rotation for your hip. Just breathe. It's all in your breath. Relax your left muscle in the hip. And come up to seated. Let's do some core work. <clears throat> so both feet are down. I'm going to hold on. Well, first, let's stay with shoulders here for just a second. Hold on to the bottom of your chair and now shrug, try to shrug your shoulders up. <clears throat> Good old levator scap. Now release your chair bottom and roll your shoulders back and around and then the other direction. We'll do that again. Come to neutral, hold on to the bottom of your chair, and now try to pull your shoulders up to your ears. And make sure the shoulders are what's working and not your neck. Take a deep inhale and exhale, release. Roll your shoulders back and forward. And now, if you do have blocks or something under your feet, scoot them out about half of one of your feet away from the chair bottom. Feet back upon the, the support so your thighs are nice and level. I'm going to hold on to my chair bottom, but I'm not shrugging my shoulders. Just keep your feet where they are. Engage your belly and lift your right leg straight out and down, left foot out, and then down. Notice we're keeping everything stable, not moving anything. Just extend the left foot out and down, and the right leg extends and down. One more time on the left and down and pause. Now, Extend your right leg out and do your pulses up. So the thigh, the leg stays straight and the, you're trying to lift your thigh up off the chair while maintaining that straight back. I'm not shrugging my shoulders. I'm just kind of using this for stability. We're stressing your quadricep, your thigh, and just keep pushing up. Engaging the belly, lifting from the low ribs, and release. Let's do the other side. Left leg extends, and just pulse. Pulse, pulse. And if you're not to this level yet, maybe you do drop down and pulse up, okay? But try to keep your leg lifted as much as you can and start from center and focus on pulsing up. and release. Take a deep inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up and exhale, back bend. Lift your hands back up again with a forward fold. If your feet are on blocks, go ahead and move them to the floor and set your blocks to the side. Hands on the floor. Keep your hands anchored. Lift your hips up for a true forward fold. Shouldn't say true, but standard. Oh. Keep your left hand down. Lift your right arm up to the sky. Right hand comes down. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, both hands come down. Inhale, halfway lift. Flatten your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come all the way up, Tadasana. And exhale, hands at heart center. All right, turn your body so that now you're facing your chair bottom. And step your right foot up onto your chair bottom. So now right knee is over right ankle. Hips are square. Inhale up with your arms. Exhale, hands at heart center, lift from your ribs and twist, left elbow on right knee. Take your left shoulder down toward the chair bottom. Inhale, come back up, both arms. 
drop your hands in front, pull your arm bones in and open your left arm up for warrior two. Moving into reverse warrior, left arm down, right arm lifts. Come back to warrior two, arms at a T. Square your hips back for warrior one. Drop your arms in front, pull your bums in. This time, open your right arm up. Keep your right knee toward, pulled in toward your midline. Do another reverse warrior on this side. Come back to warrior two arms, back to warrior one arms. Now place your hands on your chair bottom, release your right foot. Step your right foot back. Bend your left knee over left ankle and now rock back so that the right heel moves toward the floor. Nice stretch for the back of your lower right leg. Right foot steps up to meet the left. Come back up for Tadasana, arms lift. Exhale, back bend. Hands come to the chair bottom. Step your left foot up. <clears throat> Lift your arms up, hips are square. Left knee over left ankle. Moving into our sequence here. Arms fall in front. Pull your arm bones in and open your right arm up or your two arms. Keep your left leg moving out. Don't let it cave into the chair, uh, to the midline. Reverse, right arm down, left arm lifts. Come back up, warrior two arms. Then warrior one arms again, lift your arms up. Arms drop in front, keep your arms there. Pull your left arm open to the side. Doing a reverse warrior on this side, left arm up, right arm reaches. Come back to warrior two arms. Then warrior one, and exhale, hands to the chair bottom. <clears throat> Step your left foot all the way back, right knee over right ankle, and rock your left foot down to the floor, stretching the lower left leg. We didn't do our twist on that side, but that's okay. Because from here, go ahead and step your left foot onto the chair bottom. We're going to do that whole sequence again on both sides. Inhale, lift. Hands at heart center and twist. Right elbow on left knee. We'll just hold it twice as long this time. So breathe. Rotate your nose down to the chair bottom. And now rotate your nose up to the sky. And then neutral neck. Inhale, arms lift up for warrior one. Here we go. Drop your arms in front, pull the bones in. Right arm comes to the back for warrior two. Then reverse warrior. Left arm reaches up. Left arm is down, fingers reaching to the floor. Come back up to warrior two arms. And then warrior one arms. Let's do the other side. Drop your arms down, bones come in, open up your left arm to the back. And then a reverse warrior on this side. Coming back to warrior two, then warrior one. And Hands to the chair bottom. Step your left foot all the way back. Right knee over right ankle. And now right heel comes down toward the floor. And maybe if you find you're able to get a little deeper. Just readjust your left foot. Get left hip flexor and the left lower leg. Totally up to you. Step left foot up to meet the right. Step right foot up into the chair bottom. Lift your arms up. Exhale, hands at heart center and twist. Left elbow on left knee. 
my right knee. <laughs> Inhale, arms lift. Moving into our warrior sequence, drop your arms, pull your bones in and open your left arm. Then reverse warrior, left arm down, right arm reaches. Come back to warrior two, back to warrior one. Arms drop, open your right arm to the back. Your bones are pulled into the shoulders. Then right arm down, left arm reaches. Come back to warrior two arms. Then warrior one arms. Hands to the chair bottom. Step your right foot back, toes are lifted. And then rock your heel down to the ground. Take a breath and just evaluate. Can you step or shimmy your right foot back a little further? If so, you'll catch your right hip flexor and the right lower leg. If not, that's okay. We'll get them. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Inhale, halfway lift so the back is nice and flat. And now come down to your forearms on your chair bottom. Don't lock your knees out. Maybe you readjust your feet a little bit. Just keep your back flat, you're down to your forearms. This would be a halfway lift. And now push back with your forearms so that your hips are coming back. You're just pivoting back, catching the back of your lower legs. Try not to lock your knees out here, it's easy to do. You can even hang on to the back of your chair bottom if you feel like you're losing stability. Now from wherever you are, go ahead and take the back of your chair bottom so that you can lift up and drop your hips forward for plank. Oh, you thought, chair? Where's there a plank and chair? All right. Come back up to center and release. Yeah, you can do anything in a chair that you can do sitting down or standing up. So you gotta be careful with us tricky yoga teachers. All right, right foot on the bottom of the chair. Put your hands on the back of the chair. Now shimmy your right foot over to the left edge of your chair bottom. And now drop your right knee to the right corner of your chair. Pigeon. <laughs> Straight arms, bow your back, lift your chin. Now pull your shoulders open. Now we're not getting much in the right leg, so we're going to fix that. Come up to center. Secure yourself by putting your hands on your chair bottom so that you can scoot your left leg back. Notice how I'm just lifting my left leg back hands come back up on the chair bottom and now push away from the back of the chair pigeon come up to a neutral spine now hold on to the chair support yourself and just twist so that your um, right sole of the foot is on the inside of the left thigh my right knee is on the upper left corner of the chair take a deep inhale right arm is on the back of the chair so right hand stays pretty much in the center of the back and allow your left arm to slide down your right leg keep your um, left arm down your left leg keep your right leg on the chair bottom Notice my right elbow is still bent. Maybe you're limber enough to straighten your right arm. It's not a challenge. Okay. Just feel this nice stretch on the right side body. Pull yourself back up to seated. Right arm stays on the back of the chair. Left arm lifts. And now over to your right. Think gate. Okay, so your 
the tip of your left fingers, what we call the lines of intention, the tip of your fingers on your left hand, all the way down left side body down to your left leg should be one straight line on your monitor right now if you put a pencil up there. Hopefully my left hand left side body and left leg are all in the same angle. From where you are drop your left hand down we're just doing an arm rotation come all the way back up. Just drawing a great big circle with your left arm all the way down to the floor inhaling up. All the way down to the floor inhaling up. All right, step your left foot in close to your chair secure yourself with your hands on your chair bottom moving back into this forward fold with your forearms on the chair bottom. Again, step your left foot back as far as you're comfortable with and take your left heel down toward the floor. Come back up, lift up, and we're going to do the other side. So hands on the back of the chair, left foot on the chair bottom, toe heel over to the left edge of the front of the chair and set your right knee down to the right upper corner of the chair. I'm sure I got my lefts and rights tangled up there, but hopefully you're following along. So right knee is at the right upper corner of the chair. Put your hands on the chair bottom and begin to walk your left leg back, just shimmy the toes back to where you're in this nice comfortable pigeon posture. Hands on the back of the chair, push back. This is a back bend, but it also should be catching left hip flexor, which is nice. Deep inhale, deeper exhale. My left heel is lifted, just in case you can't see. Deep inhale, deeper exhale. We're doing this side twice and then we'll do the other side twice. So again, scoot your hips over to where your left, right sole of the foot is on the inside of your left thigh. Arm is on the back of the chair and take your left hand down your left leg. Don't worry, we'll do the other side twice too. Inhale, lift, left arm comes up, left bicep by left ear, really reaching, stretching out left side body. Come back up to seated, hands on the bottom of the chair, step your right foot back to meet the left and push back for what would be a downward facing dog in the chair. So ears between biceps, we're rocking back. Keep your hands on the chair, just rock your hips forward. Hips drop, chin comes back for what we would think of as cobra. The neutral spine, step your feet up. And now we'll do that on the other side. So hands on the back of the chair, left foot up. Scoot your left foot over to the lower right corner of the chair and your left knee to the upper left corner. Okay, ankle is at lower right corner, knee is at upper right left corner. Oh my gosh, you guys, sorry. So knee is at upper left corner, foot is at lower right corner. It's too early. Now hands on the chair bottom begin to walk your right leg back to a comfortable pigeon esque position hands on the back of the chair push away. Lift up reach up. And breathe. 
And now pivot your hips so that your left hip is on the chair bottom, left sole of the foot is on the right thigh. Take a deep inhale, slide your right arm down your right leg, holding on to the back of the chair, but still feeling the left side of my upper body stretching. Keep your collarbones pulled open. Inhale, right arm lifts. And exhale, right bicep by the right ear. Again, trying to achieve that straight line between the right fingers and the right foot. Right hand comes down and take your left foot back to meet the right. Forearms down on the chair for forward fold. Flatten the back, hands on the chair bottom for a half lift. And then push back for a down dog in the chair. Come back up. And let's do that side one more time. Left foot comes up to the chair bottom. See if I can cue this better this time. Right corner, right left corner is where you plant your left heel. And now left knee comes up to left upper corner of your chair. Sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna shimmy my right foot back so that my left hip lowers down to the chair bottom. Stay up, stay lifted. Now shifting over so the right heel comes down to the ground, sole of the left foot on the inside of the right thigh, and slide your right arm down your right leg. Open up left side body here. Don't lock out your right knee. Now lift your right arm up and then right bicep by right ear. One straight line from the tip of your fingers down to your foot. And let's do some of those arm circles on this side. So exhale, right arm down, inhale, right arm lifts. A couple of times like this, just down and up and down and up. This time taking both hands to the chair bottom and step left foot back to meet the right for down dog. Just move your hips to the back of the room. Hands are separated on the back of your chair. Then push the hips forward, what we would consider cobra. And then exhale, hips come back, down dog. Good, baby steps to the top so that your knees are near the bottom of your chair. Inhale, arms lift, exhale, back bend, and release, good. Let's go ahead and move the chair, find a bolster or block so that we can do some cool down on the floor. Always good to have your strap handy just in case. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. All right, so I have a nice bolster, but you can use a towel that's a, a tightly woven towel or a tightly woven blanket so that it doesn't have a lot of gives. No goose down comforters, okay? So come down to seated with your right hip against whatever support you're using. Legs come out to the side, just whatever feels comfortable to you. I'm in deer pose, so right sole of the foot is on top of the left thigh. Both feet are pointed out and away. Take a deep inhale, lift from the low ribs and twist looking over your bolster and come down to your heart. You can choose which way to, to uh, turn your cheek or maybe you want your forehead straight down. You can make a platform with your hands and put your forehead straight down. It all depends upon the condition or the intention that you want to turn your neck. Please be careful with your neck.
Come back to your breath. And slowly inhale, coming up to seated. Let's do a counter twist. Just lift from the low ribs, twist over to your left, and then release. Move your body so that your tailbone is up against the bottom of, or the base of whatever you're using for your support. Keep your knees bent and slowly come down to your back. I like to keep my knees bent, but the feet out so the knees are knocked together. But you might choose to extend your legs or maybe soles of the feet together, knees apart. Just whatever suits you. The, the thing with the legs and what to do with your legs depends upon the condition of your low back. So if you feel any tension or pinching in your low back, readjust your legs or Put your hands underneath your tailbone to decrease the angle of the bend in your lumbar spine. And breathe. Take an inhale through your nose until you can feel your ribs separate. Pause at the top and exhale deeply and you can feel your ribs knit back together, those what we call intercostal muscles in between your ribs. Another deep inhale, feel the muscles expand between the rib bones. Hold at the top and lower your abdomen. So you can really feel that stretch in between your ribs and then release. One more time with a conscious breath, inhaling through the nose, lowering your belly, lifting your ribs. Maybe you can feel it this time in your back. The back muscles shorten as your front body muscles are expanding. And now release. Lift your arms up to the sky, interlace your fingers and press your palms up. Lift your arm bones out of their sockets. Nice stretch. And then hands behind the head like you're laying in a hammock. Open your collarbones. Then release your arms and slowly roll to your left side body and come up to seated. I used to not like turning my back to the camera, but now I understand that maybe by seeing this side of the profile, then you'll be able to catch something different. So now the bolster or support is against the left side body, legs are out to the side. Lift from the low ribs, twist and come back down to resting. Again, adjust your neck accordingly.
Just breathe. When you're ready, inhale, slowly come out back up to seated. And this time, move your body so that your legs are out at a V. Your support is in between your legs. I'm lifting the end of mine up so that it's actually in my lap. My legs are parallel with the bolster. Now you may need a blanket or a block or something to support your head with, maybe not. Sit up nice and tall, lifting from the low ribs, hinge forward. Make sure that your head is resting on your hands or something. Don't leave your neck dangling here. Everything is just slouched and able to cave in toward the midline. Inhale, slowly come up to seated, leave everything as it is. So the thing about if you've taken any of my classes or watched my videos, you, you'll know that I constantly am saying support your neck. Don't let your chin just hang. The reason for that is um, our world has changed. And so often now we're looking down. The back of your neck is always stretched. So the emphasis should be on extending up, lifting the chin up, or keeping the neck neutral. And that will really protect your neck as you get older and get start getting these um, um, neck degeneration issues. Or even the you know younger people today, you don't even have to be, you know, quote, older, um, that we get what we call tech neck. So I'm, I'm an advocate for never allowing your head to just dangle. All right, so that's your lecture for today. We're gonna to do that again with a little bit difference. So lift from your lower ribs, come forward, really reaching. But this time, take your arms behind you. Let's do that again. Come up to seated first. Interlace your fingers behind you, roll your shoulders back. So the first time we were slumping the shoulders forward, this time we're keeping the shoulders pulled back. Maybe the arms come up off the back and hinge forward. Again, keeping your neck neutral. Lift your arms up as much as you're able to. Keep your hands interlaced and come back up to seated. This time reaching, you may even lean back a little bit into your arms your interlaced fingers reach the floor pull the shoulders back lift your neck up really stretch allow your jaw to become slack and move your jaw over to the left and back to center and over to the right back to center keep that fingers interlaced just bring yourself back up to seated arms lift and exhale one more forward fold Come back up, move your anything that was under your head out of the way. Turn your bolster parallel or horizontal on your mat. And come back up to a seated position, knees are bent. Have the bolster to where when you lean backwards, it's going to be right around your mid back or ladies where your bra strap would be. And come back down with your arms over the bolster so my triceps are touching my bolster here it's just a really good focus on the upper back 
chin is lifted. Stay as you are, just rotate your nose over to your left. Lengthening your, your scalenes and your muscles on the right side of your neck. And rotate your nose to the center. Take a breath. And now over to your right. Keep your nose rotated to the right and rotate the rest of your body. Resting here for just a moment on the right side. Take your left arm up and left bicep by left ear. Maybe the fingers reach the floor. Maybe they're on a chair bottom or block. Lower your right hand down to your hip. Roll back to your back. Rest here for just a breath before we do the left side. Now slowly roll to your left. Take a breath. Lift your right arm up, right bicep by right ear. Right hand back down to right hip and roll to your back one more time. Highly suggest your knees stay bent in this particular posture. Now slowly roll to one side or the other and bring yourself up to seated the way we began. In a seated position, come back down to your back. Take a minute here to bring your knees into your chest, forehead to your knees. Hands on the bottom of your feet and lift your heels up to the sky as much as you're able to. Don't worry whether your knees are straight or not. Keep your hands on your feet. Widen your knees and bring your elbows to the inside of your knees. We're not doing happy baby. We're just bringing the heels in towards the groin and just roll around for a minute. And now release your feet to the floor, arms out at a T or down to your sides. Just find that stillness in your body. Make sure your shoulders are flat. Surrender to the earth. Surrender to what is. Transcend beyond understanding into acceptance. Allow your thoughts to drift past you like clouds in the sky. You can't stop yourself from thinking. Just don't get hooked in. When you're ready, slowly roll over to one side. Pause for just a moment. And then come up to seated. Eyes remain closed or a soft gaze. Come back to your breath. Arms lift up, 
deep inhale, look up, reach for your blessings and then pull them into your heart. They're yours by your birthright. We're going through a change in our climate, in our season, and within ourselves. We're awakening to springtime. Everything is starting to bloom and blossom, and so are you. Embrace the change. Roll with it. Understand that nothing is permanent. Even the, even the good times. We say, oh, whew, bad times. It's not permanent. The good times aren't permanent either, so enjoy them. One of my favorite authors has a quote and says, every time that you notice that something is really awesome, like in Colorado, especially now, everything is starting in, in spite of the snow last night, um, it's blooming. And take a good look at those blossoms around you and say, if this isn't good, I don't know what is. That's mindfulness. Inhale, arms lift up to the sky one more time. Exhale, hands at heart center. Thank you so much for your time. For knowing other people are out there trying to make themselves better mentally, physically, spiritually. Should be very comforting for us all. Namaste.